Hi, this is Deck again. Out on the Eastbourne Downs, Sussex Downs actually. Just outside my house, I'm so blessed and lucky to have all this around me. Isn't it wonderful? I just always do a little spin around to see what I'm looking at. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at where I'm walking. Isn't that beautiful? Down to the sea. Deck at makehits.com if you want to send me an email. Lots of people do, they don't seem to bother and commenting below, but comment below, please. Don't leave it blank. But everybody seems to email me, so I get fantastic questions that I'm able to talk to you about and solve your problems, because that's what I am, a problem solver. And one thing at the Serious Writers Guild we pride ourselves in is our customer care, and we care. We care about people who write music, make music. So last week we had Devoran asking me about he couldn't write gobsmacking, fantastic melodies, chorus melodies, and what could he do about it? And I suggested that he's not doing it 100%. And believe me, I was absolutely smack on the money. This is his reply to me. Jack, I do not know how you do it, but you nailed it. I am playing the songwriting business, working at spare time, because I am not sure I can do it professionally enough. I never jumped in fully, because I have to do it. They're my words, I, a great phrase I use. In the music business, it's much better if you have to do it. If you're smash broke, you're skint, and you've got to put food on the table, then you'll start to write hit songs, because you have to. You can't just enjoy yourself in a hobby. I'm still wondering how guys like Max Martin, the Swedish uh, hit maker, does it. His melodies are so strong. After song after song, year after year, and it goes da 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 da. Is there an, another hidden secret besides your excellent advice? What's more, he pulled a young guy called Shellback out of nowhere, and now Shellback also nails hit after hit. Well, it's interesting that he should say, Max Martin, because there is another part to what I said last week about writing 300 songs and that. That's only the start of it. What you have to do, and again, the book I'm writing at the moment, um, it's really about this very idea, because one of the, the guys I've been very involved with, David Eames, through the years, he's just, he's gradually, gradually, gradually become absolutely huge. He's so sought after now in London, in the hip hop, pop business. He's now two fantastic, huge covers he's just had uh, done in the States and he's, he's making serious money but he's on the verge of making doubly serious money and he did it exactly the way I say to do it and I've said it to Devor and I say it to all the members of the Serious Riders Guild that once you get in that idea of the hard work and seriously making hit songs and recording hit songs and then making money out of three of them per year. That's only, as I say, the start of it. Because Max Martin didn't just write one song, bring it to a publisher or a record company and suddenly he was making fortunes. Doesn't work that way. Never has, never will. It, a very, very odd time it can happen. But, generally speaking, the guys that that happens to, and I've seen it so many times, and you've heard about it so many times, they just have one hit, two hits, three hits, five years, maybe, top weight, and that's it. Just like the Britain's Got Talent, just like the Pop Idols people. No, the way to lasting success and serious success is to aim at becoming part of a team. Now, read about a guy called Rick Astley, one of the best examples of that. He started as a T-boy with PWL, Stock, Aiken and Waterman, Pete Waterman's outfit, Mike Stock, and gradually, gradually, 
they knew he wrote songs. And gradually, gradually, he'd maybe be in on a session and somebody would say, oh, we need a, a line for the chorus. Anybody got an idea? I need pipe up. And then they gradually, they gradually would um, come to him and say, oh, Rick, remember that song that you played to us three months ago? What was the chorus of that again? So you see what I mean? Gradually, gradually, gradually. Now, David did exactly the same. He was knocking around the pubs and the clubs in London, you know, getting to meet people. As I always say in Serious Writer Skill, getting to the parties, getting to the record launches, getting to the celebrations, the after show parties, looking good, becoming the person that's wanted at that sort of do. David was that sort of dude. In fact, he used to borrow clothes from me. Honestly, this is the truth. And by the way, one of the most expensive designer jackets I loaned him, I never got back. David, if you're looking at this, I don't know where it is, but it's probably fallen apart by now. And that's the way it works. You've got to become part of the team. Then gradually, 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 you get a co-write and then as I, I read a quote the other day, which said, the days, I think nowadays, the percentage is down to 2% of chart records are so written. Nowadays, it's four, five, six. It can be the programmer. It can be the producer. It can be the, the guy making the coffee. It can be the Rick Astley. It can be anybody that just throws in a line and they become part of the team. And if you look at any, record now released or only download if you can get the detail of it you'll see that there's two three four five six seven people involved in a song nowadays that's the way it works so forget about the idea of writing a song and becoming a superstar you have no chance but you write a good song a hit song people get to a pay you a little bit of attention and then invite you into their inner sanctum. Join the team, get involved, you know, go to the parties. And I don't mean get drunk and all that. I mean, go there in a business sense, go to the launches and all that. And then eventually being part of the team, you will become the leader of the team eventually. So there we are. This is the deck out on the downs. I always spin around to give you a little look at where I'm walking. Isn't this blissful? And tonight I'm going to the Congress Theatre to see my old pal, Peter Noon. Peter Noon, do you remember Peter Noon? My goodness me, all those years ago. There's a load of them, Brian Hyland and all that lot, the Silver 60s show. Jess Conrad's coming down from London, he's picking me up. We're going to have a lovely dinner at six o'clock. And then we're going to the Congress. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to wear, but it should be fun. Okay, deck. Deck at makehits.com, Serious Writers Guild, www.makehits.com. So there we are. See you next week. Make your comments down below. Bye.